wants to play with me. Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today I have the most exciting video ever. In this video, we are going to check out this magical, beautiful mystery box. And you are not going to want to miss out on this. If you are any type of RC enthusiast, okay, maybe you drive RC cars, or you do drift cars, or trucks, or boats, or planes, or hovercrafts, FPV drones, you name it, if you need batteries to do it, you are not going to want to miss out on this beautiful, beautiful beast, okay? I am about to blow your mind. All right, pilots, so you have seen field charging stations before, right? Well, that's nothing more than just an inverter and a charger. Well, in order to use that, you've got to have electricity around. If you're flying out by a bando or on a track or a course or whatever, there may not be electricity there, so that box is useless to you. Well, then on the other end, you may get a power station where you've got this big, huge, heavy block. You've got no control over nothing. You've got no special features. You've just basically got a wall jack, and when it's dead, you're done, and that's it. I mean, that's okay, but why not have it all? Because you can, and it's here, and it's glorious. So let me go ahead and kick it on and show you. I can kick on my chargers. What voltages do I have? Well, there you go. All right. I've also got some other features. How about that? You might not know what that is. That is USB and Type-C. Oh, that's right. I'll kick on my inverter. Oh, you want some LEDs? I got you. Beautiful LEDs. And you know, with all this action packed going inside, it may get a little warm. So let me kick on my fans. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. And this is not just a show box with cool LEDs. Oh, did I mention? Maybe I didn't. Link up Bluetooth. What the fuck was that? Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Now it's not that it's right. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm a cop one and you gon' work that too. Say go for 15. How you pay 22? That's right. Built in Bluetooth right into the box. Now I'm not going to try to scream over it, so. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. But we've got built-in music because what more could you want while you're out flying or driving or racing or doing what you do than a little bit of music to set the tone and really have some fun. Let's go ahead and take a moment to go over this. So you see the LEDs, they're flashing, we're getting different colors, we're doing all kinds of fancy stuff. Well, that's why I have right here this remote. And you can just pick a color. This is full RGB and white, boom. And you just cool with a color if you want, or if you want red, or maybe you want green, or maybe you want white, whatever. And then you can uh, go brighter, you can make it flash, you can make it stroke, you know how it goes. You can do whatever you want these days with a cheap uh, LED controller, because that's built in and it does its thing. Now you're noticing that there's LEDs on my fans too, and that's right. If I turn off my LEDs LEDs I do have LEDs on my fans as well uh-huh nice little touch but let's go ahead and kick those back on because who doesn't want the beautiful LEDs okay let's dive into a little bit more into the logistics what else does this offer so I want to move through this so we've got USB A and USB type C that's two of them so for example if I want to charge my camera battery I would take this and I could plug it in right here and as you'll see it'll charge my battery oh that one's pretty much charged but we're gonna top it off now what if and it happens let me power that off you ready Nope. Now it happens where you don't have a USB connection. Maybe it's a full on 120 wall outlet. I mean, and that's a thing, it happens. Well, no worries because check this out. I went ahead and put that in for you. 
So as you can see here, I am wall charging with a wall outlet. So if you wanted to charge your phone and you had a regular wall plug or charging something that doesn't take USB, I mean, it's kind of rare these days, but it happens. You got something, maybe you got something, or maybe your buddy's got his charger and he doesn't have a wall adapter, inverter, dealio, so he needs to pump a little juice out of you because you're the juice master. <laughs> All right, so we had some fun with the features and they're super cool and they're super awesome and they're great to have. And that's what sets this apart from everything else. Also, I mean, it is built super, super nice. I mean, you literally just close this up, put your latches, and you can literally just grab this handle and take this off to the field. You carry it like a suitcase, throw it up in a comfortable spot. Uh, yes, I did laser engrave my name. If you want to set up, you just pop open your latches, and this is going to keep everything safe. It's going to keep it dry. It's going to keep it dust proof. It's going to keep your electronics safe, which is very important, and that is why I went with this box. Let's dive into the meat and potatoes, because that's what really matters here. What does this do for me when I'm charging? What do you offer? So let's go over it. I'm going to kick this on right here, and that is going to allow me to use four parallel charging boards. Each one has four connections. I can charge up to 16 batteries at a time, okay? And they are doubled up. They are XT60 and XT30. So maybe you got a micro you like to fly and you want XT30. You don't gotta stress, it's here, it's loaded, and that is why I went with these. Now, you may wanna get into storage mode, right? So I need to pack up my battery and I wanna put it in storage. You can do that four times by charger, right? Put it in the setting, storage. If you're not sure where that is, you click here and you come right here to mode and you just add it to storage or discharge. I do storage, so it stops at the right point. But you've also got one, two, three, four built-in storage modules. And how these work is you just simply plug in your battery. So watch this. That's a 4S, so I'll click this button. That's two, three, and 4S and it's reading my voltage and it's gonna bring it down to storage mode and then cut off on its own. And I can do the same with my six cell and I can do this four times, one, two, three, and four. I'll do it right here. As you can see, this one says 22.7. We need to head over to six cell. So one, three, four, uh, that's five S, six cell. And now I am storage discharging this battery and this battery. And I can just flop those over and do that separately while I'm still using my chargers. Yes, that is why that's so important and so powerful. Because, oh, look, that one's actually done. We're at storage mode. <laughs> right where I want it so I can put it away and not have to stress. Now you're asking yourself, okay, so there's built-in batteries. How much? Well, on this side, we've got five 10,000 milliamp hour batteries. And on this side, we've got three 11,000 milliamp hour batteries. That is a huge, beautiful total. So you do the math on a 1100 pack, how many I can probably get away with charging out in the field if my box is fully charged. Well, how do I fully charge the box? Oh, well, what a pain in the neck. Well, right here on the side, I've got a little doohickey that holds this beautiful little cord right here, all wrapped up nice and neat. And watch this, I'll just plug it in here. Okay, and let me show you. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This goes right here. So now I've got power coming into my box, okay? And I'm still using my other features. I, I can still use them all I want, but watch and learn. I'm gonna come on down, one and two, okay? Now, because I want to send battery power to the built-in batteries, I will bring these down. Okay, the reason why I bring that up and the reason why I set that up is because maybe you have a wall nearby. And that's what makes this so powerful. So I'm out in the field and I actually have electricity nearby. Well, I don't have to use my inside batteries. I've got them if I need them, but I don't need them. So what this allows you to do is you would flip these up and you can actually use the chargers and the built-in inverter, which is pumping 13 uh, amps 
and you can run all four of these and never touch your juice inside of your battery. Hit right here. My chargers are on and they're not powered by the battery. They're powered by my built-in inverter that is inside. So what happens is I can now charge these on this leg, which as you'll see, I got voltage. I don't have voltage here because I have it off, but I'll go on and now boom, I've got voltage here, here, I'll kick it on and here. So now I can charge up to 16 batteries off my inverter because I have power from the wall. Okay, so now maybe where I'm going there is no power. So I need to fully charge my box. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna kick these down. And now you'll see I'm reading my voltage, 14.7. Well, 14.6, it's a pinch off. And here, 22.8, 22.7. That is pulling directly from the battery inside. So I would come here, I would swipe over, I'm on the battery now. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hit start. It's a 4S, 16.8, start. I am now pumping amperage into my inside battery through the wall from this cord. And it's that simple. I would do the same here and I can pump them both. I'll just show you since we're at it. Boom, 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 and there you go. So right now, I'm charging my battery box while listening to music, while doing whatever I wanna do. I can even charge up my field packs, right? I can be charging my field packs on this side while charging my internal packs for when I get out to the field. Now, why is this so important? Well, all these pilots and it, maybe it's your style and that's okay, but all these pilots have these packs that are 20 bucks, 25 bucks, if you got a good brand, 28 bucks a piece, and you gotta charge up 15, 20, 25 batteries and have them ready to go. And you gotta carry them, you gotta have a place to put them, and then you gotta have a way to know when I use this one, is it dead or is it full? So now I've got like some here, some there. I've gotta get them all ready the night before. So I, if I'm gonna fly tomorrow, you can't just call and say, hey, come flying. No, we can't because all my batteries are in storage. I need to sit here and charge packs. So I've got to charge them all up the night before and then I got to bring them out to the field. Well, and then what happens? Maybe I, maybe I got caught up in the moment and I was flying and I over discharged one of my batteries. I mean, this is sitting at 11 volts when it should be no lower than 22, 21, and it's just gonna sit in my bag for hours until I get back home and I can bring it back up. Unhealthy. Now also, maybe I only used half of them. Maybe I used them all and I wish I had more. Oh, gosh. Maybe I made it out to the field and it's raining and I'm not gonna fly now. Great, now I'm not gonna fly for a week. So now I've gotta go home and bring 22 25 batteries out of fully charged and down into storage mode. And that is important because if you do that, you are literally, literally damaging your batteries. Now we're talking 25 bucks a battery. We are talking 20 batteries. You do the math, that is a lot of money. Ask me what I do. Yes. I'll tell you what I do. I keep five batteries with me. One, two, three, four, five, that is it. I fully charge them up at the house if I even want to because I have my box charged. And when I get out to the field, I just charge on the fly. Send them up, come on down. And I fly as long as I want. If I over discharge, bring it back up. Let's go. And I'll tell you what else makes it awesome. When I know we're about to wrap up, hey pilots, about that time, I'm gonna start wrapping up. Guess what I do? I start putting my batteries in storage. So I fly my pack, bring it back. If it's too low, bring it up to storage. If it's too high, bring it down to storage. And I go home with all five of my batteries already in storage mode. I get home, I close this up, throw it on the bench, and I'm gone. That's it, call me tomorrow if you wanna fly because I'm ready to go. And that is my theory behind it. You may disagree, you may not agree, you may want to agree, you may be trying to figure out how to build one now and you can do the same and have an awesome time and not deal with all this 
nonsense if you want to. Now, last thing that I do want to go over, and there is other stuff going on here, but the last thing I want to point out other than my remote is I do keep right here an awesome, awesome cell checker. Not that I need it. If I want to know my battery voltage on the fly, just plug it in real quick. So we're at 15.9, done. But if I want to check my cells, I can plug it in here. There you go. And this is super powerful because I can do a lot with this. But it's not a new device. This uh, toolkit multi-checker, the MC8, has been out for a while. But I thought, what a better way to top off the box by having that right there ready to go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Stop. Stop. I'll go ahead and kill it. And kill it. Boom. Now it's time to pull this out. And this goes right here. I've got a little doohickey that it hangs from. You literally just wrap it up just like that. I'm not even sure if you can see that, but if you can, great. If you can't, you know what a cord roller looks like. And I'll, I'll link it down in the video in case you want my exact one. But that's it, and boom. That is now rolling with me, ready to go to the field all the way. If you are a pilot who wants to have your own Drain Man battery box, you can download the files and you can build one and I'll, I'll link everything for you so you can go ahead and put this together. My email is down below if you need help. I'll do my best to help you build it. But if you are a company who wants to put the Drain Man battery box in production, my email is down there, so is my other contacts. Hit me up, maybe we can do something. But don't be going renaming it and trying to do my thing without me now, all right? <laughs> and yes, that is it. I'm gone. See you guys later.